Hey, this is Patrick. I'm gonna play around with something that I discovered recently, uh, after all these years using Maya. Um, that a blend shape doesn't just apply to polygonal uh, surfaces, it actually uh, applies to curve as well. So, um, today we're gonna play a bit with curves. So, let's see what we can do with curves. So, the same principles of a blend shape that apply to polygonal surface applies to curve as well. So uh, Maya is expecting the same number of uh, points. So let's take a look. Okay, so I have um, this straight curve shape, and it has like 15 spans. So um, to play it safe, um, every other shape that I'm gonna morph this to, uh, I duplicate from the original, and then I <coughs> somehow change it either by modeling or some kind of procedural deformer or clusters or anything. So first off I have this straight shape and then I have a noise curve. I, I call it noise but actually it's just affected by two sine waves uh, traveling at different speeds. Okay. So and then I have a <coughs> this jagged curve. Um I did something else with this curve where whereby I duplicated that but I uh, I rebuilt the curve to change the degrees. Um but actually I kept my number of spans so technically it would still work with the blend shape so it's that same curve but um, I pulled some CVs so the shape is different okay let's try that so just take this curve this curve this curve and finally the main uh, shape that uh, the blend shape is going to be applied to so my straight curve so doing that I can do a create deformer and blend shape <coughs> so I have this blend shape added to my object and uh, of course like we can open our blend shape editor okay and then we have the names of the curves so this is uh, with everything turned down is the base shape which is the straight curve so I'm gonna hide the three affecting curves okay and then I have my sharp curve here Okay, um, because the the degree of the curve is different, but it's just following the vertex of the um, uh, the vertex of this guy. Okay, and then the second one is following the the series of this curve. Okay, and the third one, I'm gonna hide back my two curves. And the third one will be the noised curve, so called. Okay, so using that, I can just um, blend between okay so simple demonstration of how it should be um, I'll just key every other curve and then um, <coughs> for the first eight frames I'm gonna um, bring up my noise curve and then set another key okay um, so I can select this blend shape node, thereby giving me my keyframes, and then also I can um, just gonna bring this out of the way for a bit, and then uh, I can also bring up my graph editor. Okay, to actually see <coughs> what's happening with the keyframes. So uh, nothing's happening. Selecting my curve node again, and then I start to see all the um, animation curves that are leading up to this uh, blend shape, contributing to the blend shape. So from my straight, I'm having this noise to curve, and then <coughs> maybe at frame 15, uh, I'll totally change it to um, <coughs> one of the sharp curves. Frame 15, I'm gonna key this noise curve again to hold that value. In one frame, I'm gonna switch it to 14, and then 15, I'm going to bring down that uh, the contribution of this and then set a key so I, I have a new key and then in, again in the same frame uh, 14 to 15, I'm going to bring up this so I'll move the keyframe for this sharp curve to hold it at 0 from 14 and then at frame 15, I'm going to, I'm going to bring up um, this sharp curve one, okay, and then I'll set a key for this again, so you can see that um, 
it's doing the noise thing and then in one frame it sort of like snaps and stops moving so maybe at frame 19 at frame 20 we're gonna snap it to the next shape okay so um, at frame 19 we're gonna do the swap right so set a key and then frame 20 bring this down set a key frame 19 set a key for this sharp curve 2 at frame 20 set a key to bring it up into full force and set a key again so then uh, when we see a sh curve 1 and 2 okay we see we see this transition here so play the animation okay so you see um, <coughs> starting off with a straight curve and then noise curve and then snap 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 um, okay let, so let's do two times so snap snap let's snap back to the first curve again okay so 24 I'm gonna key key and 25 I'm gonna reverse those two curves. Okay, you realize that when I bring up two of these sliders, uh, the value actually add into each other. So you can get like combinations of shape. Well, it's the same principle as blend shapes for like face, facial expression, and all that. So you, you probably know what I'm talking about. Okay. So let's key that. Okay. So snap, snap, snap. So, um, and then maybe I want to snap it back at frame 30 um, just manually key it back so oops forgot to, forgot to do the key frame <coughs> okay so snap 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 so on the snap snap so there's one cycle so on the last two cycle I, I can decide to bring up bring back my snap snap Okay, I can decide to bring back my noise curve again. So over at frame 20, I'll just do a key for that noise curve. And then back at 25, <coughs> so noise curve, back at 25, I'll, I'll bring that noise curve back. So set a key. <coughs> You'll see that. Um, so uh, that curve is like um, gently east in, the east back in. So, so snap, snap, and then snap. So you can see that uh, it snaps to a different curve, but the noise curve is still happening uh, in the background. So snap, and then the next one it sort of snaps to the next curve, and then the noise curve keeps happening in the background. Actually, I could uh, bring half, bring down the noise curve at a value of 0 0.5 or 0 0.2 so it's like a very weak uh, kind of um, <coughs> noise happening in the background as you can see uh, while the main uh, sharp curves are doing the snapping of course I can bring it up a little bit so that it's easier for us to see um, Yeah. Okay. So I'm um, going to delete the last two. Uh, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to. So I'm going to delete the last keyframe for uh, that curve. Okay. And uh, so to end off uh, this uh, video, I'm going to revert that curve back into the straight line. So uh, maybe from 30 to 36, we bring back the noise curve. So at frame 30, make a key at the noise curve. And then at 36, uh, we bring that in. So uh, remember this auto key uh, switch that you can do. So let's say if I delete this key and I just bring it up. Because of the auto key, uh, it, uh, it saves me the trouble of just hitting this uh, key button. Uh, if I know what I'm doing, if you accidentally just push it up so just to see what's happening with auto key button on, you'll like set another blend shape uh, keyframe. Okay, so um, I get back my noise curve, uh, but I also want to bring down my sharp curve. 
So that, that already set a key for the sharp curve without me hitting the key button. So <clears throat> this is totally uh, just the noise curve. And then finally when it approaches uh, 48, I'll bring that down also. So we uh, get a seamless loop from a straight line. Um, okay. So yeah. Um, so w with that curve, we can do a lot of things. We can make something travel along the curve because curves can be motion paths. Um, we can loft something around, uh, loft something along that. So uh, we can get that uh, and uh, extrude a shape like that, for example. So and then that shape would be animating. Okay, we can glow it to be some kind of a uh, um, directable light lightning or, or you know electric call impulse kind of shape um, and we could also use that as a, a styling uh, spline for hair or we can do um, kind of paint effects uh, kind of thing with that so <coughs> yeah it's a it's a good modeling tool uh, animation tool uh, with its splines okay thank you for watching See you next time.